Well, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be doing my three genetic tests, my DNA tests. I'm going to talk about them and see what you guys think and uh, let you in on a little secret about a mistake I made uh, that you shouldn't make yourself. Anyway, uh, the first one we're going to talk about is the first one I took, which is the National Geographic Geno Genome Project number 2.0. And that I took in uh, oh, a couple of years ago now. Uh, maybe not quite that long. Anyway, I got the results from that. And here it is. Uh, so you can see there's 54% uh, Northern European, 32% Eastern European, 7% Western Mediterranean, 2% Northeastern Europe and 2% Southwestern Europe. And it gives the explanation there on the uh, on the side uh, about what that means for that. That's uh, the first image. Let's see if I can get the second image up here. The second image. Gives a breakdown of uh, my reference populations, and uh, you can see that uh, the reference population they have there is German uh, is my reference population, um, and you can see how closely related it is to the one that I have as my main um, Northern European ancestry. There, um, what's interesting is. Uh, my family, uh, we had a uh, thought that we had some Jewish um, uh, ancestry, and uh, from what I can tell, uh, we don't. But uh, the population does uh, have a, uh, a percentage of uh, Northern Europeans that are Jewish diaspora, and you can see uh, we've got some Northern Europeans, but we don't have any. Uh, uh, any Jewish ancestry as, as far as I can tell at least so now with this you wouldn't know that uh, and uh, they haven't done any updates uh, they kind of went kaput but uh, this is about from two years ago uh, let's see let's see the third one here uh, which is uh, my second uh, reference population for uh, National Geographic was uh, Dutch and you can see how um, the Dutch I think uh, tend to be more um, like the Swedish and the uh, that the other um, the top end of the northwestern Europe, and uh, so my basic reference population for National Geographic was uh, German, and it seemed to be uh, pretty accurate at the time. Uh, the next test that I took was interesting uh, because oh, in the National Geographic too, of course, they had the. Uh, uh, Deep Ancestry, which I didn't get from uh, Ancestry.com, uh, and that was, uh, you can see they've got the maternal line with my haplogroups and the paternal line, uh, and uh, uh, for any uh, any uh, person that knows anything about genealogy and, and uh, the genome itself, these are important groups of uh, how they determine where you uh, where your family is pretty much uh, uh, your, your past genetic information comes from this. So uh, you can see these uh, these haplogroups are important, to, uh, and it takes a lot of trying to figure out what that means. But and I don't have the wherewithal to, to deal with it right now. But uh, if you're interested, that's that. And let me see. It seems like there was something else here. Oh yes. Uh, the most important thing, of course, at the time was whether or not you had, and I don't see it, did I not, oh yes, there we go, the percentage of Neanderthal, <laughs> and you can see I'm 1.5% Neanderthal, uh, the average I guess is 2.1. So I'm less uh, less Neanderthal than uh, the average, and I guess in the in the Northern European population, it's pretty common. It almost always 
Um, you have somebody there, and with African populations current, uh, it's it's almost uh, never there. So, um, uh, and it can range from anywhere from uh, zero to five um, percent, I guess, in some of the populations uh, in Northern European. Okay. Now the next uh, test I took was the Ancestry DNA, and you can see Ancestry uh, came up with relatively the same information. Uh, England, uh, Northern European, uh, Germanic, which is, uh, you know, that's the continent, uh, uh, that's a Franco-German area, uh, Norway, Sweden, again, no, uh, no Native American, which uh, my family always had that folklore, you know, Native American, uh, that we were partly Native American and, and Jewish, and we don't have any of that. Um, the breakdown with Ancestry is a lot deeper than with um, uh, National Geographic and you can see they give you a breakdown of, um, and, and you notice here, the Franco-English uh, Norman kind of a conquest era, uh, 50 grams, that's, that's uh, and the, the highlight, the, the lighter the color, the more likely I'm from that area recently. So you see there's Denmark and then uh, the the next uh, slide here is uh, the third, I guess my 24% uh, Germanic European. So, and you can see the lighter the color, the more likely that's the area uh, that is predominantly part of it. But you can see the information that it gives there is it gives you a range from 22% to 54%. And um, uh, so basically, uh, you know, you can't say, oh yes, I am, uh, you know, from that specific area in Germany or that specific area in England. It just doesn't work that way. So, um, but that's pretty much, we, we kind of thought it was uh, German English. Now, the third and the big mistake that I made was being wowed by um, a couple commercials from, uh, from this company. Uh, that no longer puts out commercials, but um, and it's a CRI Genetics, uh, and this is what they came up with. Now, I didn't do enough research because um, I should have looked into with Ancestry and National Geographic. I felt like um, I could be, you know, I, I was pretty safe with them. But these guys had a great deal, and I thought oh, I'll just. And uh, they talked about their algorithms and uh, all these kinds of, uh, and look what they came up with. They, they came up with, now I called. I called and I emailed and um, tried to talk to these people about like their, um, what's the number of people that they tested? And uh, they they just won't tell you. So, um, and when, I, when, I, when you call, you talk to them basically a guy that's making minimum wage, and uh, he knows nothing. He's got a script in front of him, and uh, <laughs> they don't have any idea about the reference population at all. So, um, and the emails that I sent, I've gotten nothing. So, but uh, if you look here, uh, it gives it gives my European ancestry, which is 100 percent, which is great. I mean, that that you know that that's fine, but they're they may have now, now look at this one. This is this is what's really amazing. When they start breaking it down using their algorithms, as the guy was trying to tell me something about algorithms, I, I, I become, uh, all of a sudden I've got mixed American in there. All of a sudden I've got Native American. South Asian, uh, East Asian, and uh, a very small percentage of, of African. But, but look at this. They somehow are able, with their amazing technology, to break it down really specific and I think I tried to explain to the person or from what my understanding is um, I mean it's kind of like alchemy I think for them <laughs> they basically there there was a point that uh, told me that I had on their site an ancestor that they could about 500 years after um, um, of the common era from Colombia, and I said, <laughs> it's on their site, and that's when I thought, well, I got a call about this, because, and obviously, uh, I mean, they're making some sort of a, 
I don't know what their science is behind it because I couldn't find any any white paper online and nobody seems to know when you call them. They just they just tell you what you can find online, which is like reading it verbatim. And so now what I need to know is um, I want to get another test done just to, to see what happens in maybe 23 and me. I don't I don't know, but um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, uh, my nephew, I, I bought him a test, and we'll see what he uh, what he comes up with. Uh, uh, you know, which will be uh, he's one removed from me, obviously. But uh, so at least guys, he'll have his uh, some of his father's well, some of well maybe. Maybe uh, some of his father's DNA in there. I don't know. I trust my sister, but <laughs> you never know. So uh, until next time, and I hope I, I hope somebody will uh, uh, check this out and uh, and uh, respond. Did I make any sense at all? At least you got to see some of my what my what I'm made of. White as the driven snow. Have a good day.